Hello everyone, my name is Rahul Brahma and today our topic is NBAR that is Network Based Application Recognition. So what is it? it is an engine that allows us the ability to do a deep packet inspection. So I'm just taking one topology in that R2 is our S router, R3 is ISP router and below R1 that is our internal router one host is connected that is 1.1.1.1 slash 32 and I'm using the subnet 192.1.12.0 slash 24 between R1 and R2 so uh, I'm just taking one requirement suppose R1 would like to reserve 20% of interface bandwidth for traffic originating from network 1.1.1 slash 32 towards facebook.com or cisco.com r1 would like to reserve 20 percent of interface bandwidth for traffic originating from 1.1.1.1 slash 32 towards facebook.com or cisco.com yeah so how it will we implement that so first we'll have to classify the traffic to do that access list 101 that will be the extended one so that we can put here our protocol and source and destination so permit protocol will be ip source will be the 1111 destination and here wildcard mask will be 0000, 000, 000. destination will be any right after that we'll have to create our class map after class map uh, we will get here two option match any and match all so we can see in the router so let me start that mm, okay sorry so interface g1 by 0 ip address 182.1.12.1 255.255.255.0 no shutdown interface loopback one IP address 1111.255.255.255.255.255 both the interfaces should be up now we'll have to apply our access list sorry now inside class map here we can see that we are two we are getting two options match all and match any so we use match all for and operation and match any for or operation right so here our requirement is this ip 1.1.1.1 slash 32 will originate the traffic for facebook.com or cisco.com yeah so here and operation is fixed right because it will originate and here for two applications or we can say two urls right first one is facebook.com and second one is cisco.com so here we'll have to use the keyword match any we can give any name i'm just giving the name cm hyphen url now we'll have to match our urls via match protocol http url in inverted comma facebook.com here we can see one more thing when we will apply this command so there will be a struct right for 20 to 25 seconds we will not get the next prompt here we can see right so the meanwhile we can use the command for cisco.com as well
now uh, suppose here we will put here match our access list that we have created earlier then what will happen that note will assume that the same packet is coming for either this or this or this but our requirement is 1111 and facebook.com or cisco.com so here we don't want the or operation right so for that we'll have to create and the class map match all here if we don't put match all then it will take by default right so it's not needed so we will skip this and we will take a keyword cm host we'll have to match our access group here 101 and then end operation with these two urls so we can match our class map that we have created here cm hyphen url yeah so we have classified the traffic here we'll have to specify the action to do that we'll create a policy map pm hyphen cost then after that we will call our class map inside that we'll reserve the bandwidth 20 percent that is our requirement bandwidth percent 20 yeah then we will call this policy map inside the interface of r1 in the diagram or bond interface is g1 by 0 command is service policy in the output direction and policy map is pm hyphen cost yeah so let us apply so we can see the output here so policy map interface g1 by 0 so here we can see that uh, this is the source that will originate the traffic for facebook.com and cisco.com and we also reserved a 20 percent bandwidth that is 200,000 kbps why to 200,000 because our link bandwidth is 1 gbps here so it has taken the 20 percent so this is nbar topic so i hope guys this is beneficial for you if you have any doubts then you can let us know so until next video i'm signing off yeah take care